Well, a few minutes ago, we met the up-and-coming country music singing trio, Chapel Heart, who secured that golden buzzer on America's Got Talent, and they made their way all the way to the Hot Tamale Festival in Greenville over the weekend. Now we have a little bit more personal of, a, of an interview with Candy Stone. Let's listen in. Being able to share this experience with family members, it completely changes the dynamic and makes the journey a lot easier. What does hometown think of you girls? I know what the state of Mississippi is, the United oh. States thinks, but mm -hmm. what about family? Uh, look, Pollardville has showed up in a way that I don't even know if we were ready for. It yeah. really hit home whenever they declared September 11th right. through the 17th as Chapel Heart Week. Yeah. Like, what did we even do? <laughs> What do you hope at the end of the day? What's the one thing you want people to know about you ladies, who you are, what you stand for? Do you feel like the right idea is out there? I think so. As far as, far as, as, far as we know, coming to the Chapel Heart Show, it's like, so uh, you, you kind of come and instantly Chapel Heart fans just kind of surround you and go like, do you, what do you need to drink? What do you want to, like, what do you need to see? Do you need to, and you're embraced by that. And, and that's what our, that's what our, I think that's our message. Music has no color. And that's how we want people to, to celebrate the, like, our music. We just want to spread love and, like, kind of get back to that, back to the old school way of community. What is next for Chapel Heart? Just on the road, and we're um, getting ready for our, our theater tour next year. So we're going to be all over next year. Um, we're also trying to get album number three together, picking out what songs we want the message to be. So we're doing all the things, and we are just so, so excited. I tell you what, some songs just hit different when you hit Mississippi, right?